Hi, this um, next lecture is really to show you how to go about tackling the job of filtering numbers. Now this is much more difficult than the previous one. In the previous one we just wrote the program so that you could enter numbers in and put them into the left hand list box. And as you'll see now I've added two text boxes, another button and the right hand list box. The idea being, if you remember, is to be able to add numbers into the left hand list box then enter a low number in for the low part of the range and a high number in and when you press something like a filter button it will copy then relevant numbers over to the right hand list box. Okay, we shall begin. Hi, my name is John Proctor, hope you're well. In this lecture we're continuing on to put in the maximum and the minimum text box and a list box to hold the filtered numbers from the left hand side. Um, I need another button, event and that button's going to be used when I click it it's going to copy the numbers depending on the, the filtered numbers minimum maximum over to the left hand list box but first of all I've got to rename it and position it so I'm positioning it now um, I've got to change its ID so I'm going to the properties window or solution explorer or you can right click the button and get the properties change the ID to BTN I don't know filter yeah, sounds good to me. Meaningful name. And I'm going to do the other button which I didn't do previously to BTN say add or add data. I'm just going to put, I don't know, data or just add will do. Having done that, I'm going to change the text that's displayed on the box, on the, sorry, the button. So I'll put on there um, add, add data. And then go on to click on the other button, and I can put in there what um, filter numbers we'll say. Sounds good, hopefully. Now move the solution explorer out of the way so we can see what's going on. And now I'm going to reposition and resize the buttons so that you can see them. I'm putting the add button down there with the list box where the numbers are being added and the filter number just between the two text boxes I mean the max filter. now I've double clicked on text, the button and that gives me some some a place my code in other words when you click the button you want this program to happen now I've cheated a bit, I've, I'm just adding the variable straight away what we need uh, I want to hold how many items, minimum number, maximum runs an item and a counter I've just reminded myself the name of the actual uh, list box terrible memory getting old and grey um, so I've called it LST filter um, now the only thing is I've made a mistake because I've put item count LST filter it should have been LST data the left hand list box but I left it in just for completeness um, now we need to loop around as many times as numbers in the left hand list box and we need to get find out how many numbers is in the left hand list box otherwise it'll either go around not to, not enough times or too many if it goes around too many times it will actually crash the program so it tries to put numbers in the left hand list box that don't exist that would certainly crash it um, so if we look here now I've got list data that's the left hand list box items dot item dot text counter and that's going to put numbers into the, the variable and item and here we test to see if the if number and the minimum number and the max number are between a range then add them to the left right hand list box yeah well, let's run it and see what happens in a minute oh I must remember to add in get the numbers from the text boxes so I'm getting the minimum number from the minimum text box number and the maximum number from the maximum text box and just say this is to get the minimum and maximum numbers right just about there now I mean there's no frills here there's no validation or anything and you can see that uh, this doesn't help so now I'm going to run the program you know press F5 or debug start debugging so let's add some numbers into the left hand list box about a one in uh, what number now three but look, I clicked it by mistake. And because there's no validation, that would crash the program. 
it's saying hey you're trying to do numbers like this now run it again add some more numbers in uh, one more number should suffice for demonstration purposes now I'm going to put in the lowest number and I'm starting at say, I don't know, 3, the highest number 19. Let's see if it filters them across and I click it. Bingo it does. So far so good. In the next lecture I'll go into more detail how it actually does it. But thank you for watching. Okay.